It is time to, to introduce our hold it, everybody. What's that number? It's, it, it's time to introduce our next uh, victim on the hot seat, and his name is Larry Rice, and he is in favor defends Jane Fonda. Yeah. I'm not defending Jane Fonda. What I'm really trying to do is teach Make you, what it's, teach what, you're you to do. what it's like to be an American who has a, the, the freedom in this country to speak their mind. Jane Fonda. Just like this guy can come on the show tonight and talk about, about Nazis or about Aryan races, and you can debate him. If it was your, your, the way you wanted it around here, Wally, we wouldn't be able to do that because you don't like free speech. Hey, hold on. He, hey, hey, that guy who was just on this show doesn't belong in this country, and neither does Jane Fonda. Yeah. Your, your whole show depends on freedom of speech, Wally. And, and if you didn't have freedom of speech, this show wouldn't, wouldn't be on the hey, air. I'm telling you this. Jane Fonda is planning to seek political office, high office in this country, and I say that she has no right to seek office in this country. Yeah. Wally, you don't have that right. You don't have the right to decide what she can and cannot do. The voters in this country have the right, not you. Hey, I'll tell you, pal, she doesn't even deserve to be in this country. In my opinion, what she did in Vietnam was treason. She did nothing in Vietnam. All she did was speak her mind. She told, she told the people what she felt about the war. She stood up for what she believed in, and she exercised the First Amendment right to the Constitution of this country. Wait, hey, and you should support that Constitution, Wally, uh, hey, not fight against the Constitution. Hey, stop, stop yelling at me, you pervert. Yeah. That's, that's the only way I get any sense into that brain of yours. Why can't he talk sense to me like I do? Yeah. I never yell. Yeah. No, I'll tell you See, even, even these jerks have freedom of speech. Oh. what they want. Hey, Why can't Jane Fonda yeah. say what she wants? And I'll tell you what they're going to say. You're an idiot. That's what they're going to say. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. These, these kids aren't old enough to know what it was like in Vietnam, but, but you and I both know what happened down there. The same thing's about to happen in Nicaragua. Oh, get out of here. Okay? When, 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 when next President George Bush sends these guys down to Nicaragua to die for nothing like oh, the guys in Vietnam, they're going to have a different story in their lips. We went they're going to be defending the right in this country to speak their mind. Hey, hold on, hold on. The guys in hold, Vietnam hold died for Jane Fonda's right to speak that way. Jane Fonda, hold on. Jane Fonda went over to Vietnam and consorted with the communists and the, en and the enemy. We, Wally, oh, wait. you tell me who the enemy was in Vietnam. We were invited there by the South hold Vietnamese on. government. Hold on a minute. We didn't declare a war. There was no declared war in you. Vietnam. Let me answer you. Well, she, try. Go she, ahead. Shut well, your don't stupid... Don't get confused now here. Shut your filthy mouth, right? Yeah. Now, shut up. Now, hold on. I'll tell you what she did. I'll tell you what she did. She went to North Vietnam with the communists in North Vietnam, and she went over there and went on the radio and told our soldiers to lay down their arms and surrender to the enemy. And, and, guess, and guess what Richard Nixon did? Guess what Richard Nixon did six months later? And, okay, I, and, and guess I, what Richard Nixon oh, hold, did hold six on. months later? He pulled everybody out of that country. She was a victim. She, she wasn't a, a weirdo over there speaking her mind. The entire country at that time was against that insane war. And Richard Nixon supported her view oh. six months later. You're out of your mind. Rick, oh, Jane Fonda, I say by consorting with the enemy, she even had her picture taken with the North Vietnamese communists with her arms around the gunners aimed at our men. And, and. She also, she also came back and said that our prisoners of war were not 
being, were not being treated That's badly. That's not what she Hold said. On. You're wrong again, Wally. She I, did not say she that. She said they were not being she said She said of the ones she saw, there were 29 who complained out of 600 Hold on. who complained of Hold treatment. Hold on. Mo I have That's the, exactly I what have she said. I have a document where she said. You have it documented I, in that liberal press, Hold on. Right? Hold on. She, she said, and I have a document, a word for word. She said, the prisoners of war, I saw them. They were not ever tortured when the POWs didn't hold say on. That. when the POWs came back and said they were tortured Jane Fonda said they are lying what do you think about that <laughs> You, you tell me this. Hey, hold, no, hold you on. tell me this. How come Nixon pulled pull the troops out of there the following March? We're taking a break. Hold on a minute. I say this. You if need it, a break. If I had my way, oh, hold, on. hold on. Hey, if I had my way, I would send Jane Fonda out of this country and send him with her. I'll be right back.